welcome back to frontline news channel ladies and gentlemen yesterday i told you very well that william samoy ruto is going to visit nyahururu for a church service and besides that one i told you that the G, the gen z this generation that is now making the shaking the government say that they are not going to allow any politician to go to church and talk politics and let me assure you william samoy ruto visited nyahururu church today together with rigadi gashagwa and uh, some cabinet secretary and the archbishop Olasepet who is a close friend to William Samoy Ruto said that only president William Ruto is the one who is going to talk and Rigathi Gashagwa Rigathi Gashagwa was not supposed to talk because even during this when he was making his speech he just he just clear the air that Olasepet did not allow him to speak on that my church service because he knew very well that Rigadi Gashagwa always but knew very well that Rigadi Gashagwa is a man who is going to talk about politics there in Nyahururu and right now government are afraid of these gen z's because these gen z's are just looking like intelligence and right now the spokesperson that is the spokesperson in the state house behind William Samoy Ruto the spokesperson of William Ruto is now panicking to you know has now came out to panic about these people who are sponsoring these Gen Z's and let me tell you something there is nobody who is sponsoring these Gen Z's i want to tell you those people who are sponsoring the Gen Z's Number 1 overtaxing. Number 2 corruption. Number 3 overborrowing. Borrowing a lot of money from other country and many other things. And the person who is sponsoring this Gen Z is William Samoy Ruto. If you if I'm not wrong. He went further and talked about He went further and talked about these Gen Z This is William Samoy Ruto. When people were shouting and heckling behind the tent of the church service. Ruto see dust in Nyahururu today. And want you to pay attention to this analysis up to until to the end. Ruto Ruto see dust in the Nyahururu as Gen Z were demonstrating protesting and making a lot of noise outside the church saying that they don't want politician who are lying to them especially the time that they had William Samoy Ruto speaking about Gen Z it reached an, an extent that William Samoy Ruto came out and say that right now these people are, are our children and we need and these people are, are our children and us we are the people who raised them and he say that he thanking the gen z's for coming out to protest against the year right let me tell you something i hope you i don't i hope you don't know why william samoruto came out in yahururu and made a speech concerning the gen z's william ruto came out and speak his mind about the gen z's because speak good about good things about the gen z because he knew very well if he could have spoken a word that could have make the gen z to become angry he could have not find herself himself in a good condition because many many police officers was in nyahururu to make sure that there is no chaos there and i want you to watch watch I want you to watch this video about William Samoy Ruto addressing the Gen Zs in Nyahururu in Laikipia County. 
nataka niwaambie hawa vijana wetu. Mimi nawapongeza kwa kujitokeza na kushughulika na mambo ya taifa lenu la Kenya. Our young people have stepped forward to engage on the affairs of their country. They have done a democratic duty to stand and be recognized. And I want to tell you, we are going to have a conversation with you so that we can identify your issues and we can work together. I hope you have got something there from William Samoy Ruto speaking against this new generation Janzis that is now shaking the government. They just look like a gangster, a gang, just a gang or an intelligence people. And they are just a normal people. Beside that one, Ole Sepet, a person who support William Samoy Ruto in the state house or in the bombers of Kenya. Today came out on a public and face William Ruto direct and face to face when they were in Nyahururu church. He came out and warned William Samoy Ruto to stop arresting these young children whom are protesting against the right and on my on my on my side i support olasepet to come out and support these genzis because they know very well that these genzis are just talking are just protesting or demonstrating against the high life the, uh, against the high taxation that have been increased by by the finance bill and the second reading has already passed passed and the first reading are passed and on tuesday they are going for the third and the last reading i want you at the third reading ole sapet tell william ruto stop arresting these people because very soon you all, your own children are going to come out and protest against the high taxation because even then they are having mercy for these young people Boda Boda Raja, Mama Mboga, and any, other, uh, and any other person who is bottom up. He cautioned William Samoy Ruto to stop arresting these young, young Gen Z's and stop using excessive force towards them. Ola Sepet said that when he was going to, see, to, 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 visit, to visit her livestock, her child came out of the vehicle to, on Thursday to join the protest, saying that, Dad, I want to go and protest to, to my age mate. They are there protesting about the right of the people of Kenya. And, if, and, I, 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 I'm, and even me, I should go and help them. And that a child of La Cepet came out of the vehicle to go and support the young generation, Gen Z's, who were... Uh, protesting and i want you to listen to what olasipet said during the church service the gen Z's have no tribe no religion no class but they are our children they are not enemies of the nation they are our children so to your excellency and the leadership of this country this is a discerning moment. Not so much talking, but I think listening to one another and reaching out to one another. Let us embrace the spirit of listening more than talking. And I want to encourage that even in what is going on, those are children from our families. Let us not use any excessive force, but we also urge them not to be lawless and i hope you have got something there about ola Sepet when he was addressing honorable william samoy ruto about using excessive force to these gen z's arresting them and even injuring them beside that one 
William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa have a tough time when they were leaving the Nyahururu in Nyahururu in Laikipia County. The Gen Z's were storming outside, heckling and making noise that you cannot come here and lie to us. They were just making noise. They didn't even want to listen to William Samoy Ruto. I thank God security was tight there. Because when the church ended and when President William Samoy Ruto was leaving the podium where the church was being headed, together with his deputy Rigadi Gashagwa. Some MPs whom vit, who attended the church find it rough how to leave that church. Because William Samoy Ruto, together with Rigadi Gashagwa and other cabinets who attended that church in Yahururu, live there in a convoy very, very fast. And MPs now are finding it tough. I wanted to watch this video about how the Gen Z was behaving in Nyahururu, in Nyahururu, in Laikipia County. And I want you to comment, give me your thoughts in the comment section below, because the, if, the, if the government will not come and talk or do what these Gen Z's want, these Gen Z's will overthrow the government, if I'm not wrong. These Gen Z people are going to overthrow the government. Because it is high time. And even they, they don't even want to talk with William Samoy Ruto. What they want is that that bill could be rejected. The way they started to remove things on Tuesday when things were not going good at the Nairobi CBD. Mr. President was, was come under pressure. That is why he came out on Tuesday to remove some things that to remove oil or diapers, pads, towelry, and also tax vehicle and cooking oil. All those four things he removed on that day, but there are still another one. And what is making William Samuel Ruto right now to face this hard time? He just, he make a fake promises during his campaign in 2022. He, 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 he make a promise of, right now, the promises that he made to people of Kenya during campaign are now making him to overtax so that he can get enough money to do what to deliver what he promised the people of Kenya. Because when it seems like when he gets in the government, he found that the bank was empty. And it, it was her effort to make sure that he... Work hard so that the money can be in that, to that 